everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's Run. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, we're on the 84th episode and today my friends we are going to be continuing work on our brand new project here my friends, Canopy City. And the last episode we created this amazing looking lake from a really crummy looking natural lake that Minecraft had generated. I decided to spruce it up and give it a bit more personality. Now, we're actually going to be going ahead and starting off today's episode by doing a bit more to this place because what I really want to do is I want to cover up this entire area with leaves, okay? We want this place to be under the canopy because, guys, I have a really, really cool idea as to how to make this look just a little bit more mystical. I'm talking about... End rods. That is right, my friends. I think end rods would make for an absolutely perfect addition to this. Dangling down from the leaves, from the canopy. And they have, like, particle effect. It's going to look really, really cool, my friends. It really, really is. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to this episode. If you are, please do be sure to drop a like rating. But without further ado, guys, let's grab some shears. And we're going to grab ourselves a ton of leaves. All right, guys. So here we are on top of the canopy. Admittedly, we're not going to be up here very often. We really, really aren't. The only reason we're up here, of course, is so we can start building up the canopy and adding a little bit of thickness to the leaves here. So I'm thinking maybe two blocks thick or so. So something like that. I mean, I'm not really too fussed about making the top of the canopy look all too interesting or all too great or natural or whatever. Uh, but I certainly intend on actually doing the job, you know, uh, covering the canopy, as it were. So, yeah, maybe we start bringing this out just a little bit. And, yeah, all we're going to do is just cover this entire place up. It's going to be very, very simple. It's probably going to take more leaves than I first thought, actually. So, yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, at the very least, what I here's what I don't intend on doing. I don't intend on making this just one flat level uh, from the underside anyway. I don't I don't intend on having it be one flat level of leaves. Like, I intend on it looking kind of natural at the very least. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All I could do is start placing leaves down and just see what happens, I guess. Ah, so, after a long day's work, as you can see, the canopy is stretching over the entire lake. And it is looking pretty good, guys. Like, even from the bottom here... You know, there's a nice amount of height variation and elevation differences going on here. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I think there might be a couple of adjustments I can make here and there. Uh, if I grab myself a new pair of shears again, we could probably do a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, somewhere over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, over here... I think we can maybe do with a little bit more in the leaves department because, yeah, as you can see, it's it's not looking that great, is it? So, yeah. Okay, so, boof, boof. There we go. And then there's a little bit sort of over in this direction, which we could probably do with filling up. And there we go. All right. Just make sure we don't get rid of that light. And, yep, all looking good. All right, guys. So now we have the task of randomly placing in some of these here end rods. And by doing this, I think that this lake is going to look that much more mystical. I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic. I mean, if there isn't enough light already, then this is going to this is gonna take the biscuit, my friends. It really, really is. So uh, should we maybe have some of them be like double tall like that and then some of them just be single? I think that might be a nice idea for, again, a little bit of variation. Uh, so maybe we have uh, one up there. We can have one up here, like a double tall one there. Okay, why not? We'll have maybe another double tall one over here. Good God. Dude, the lag in 1.13 is unimaginable. Now, I can only assume it's to do with light updates. And apparently 1.13.1 has, like, fixed all of that. And I'm really hoping it has because I don't know how much longer I can deal with this lag because it's rather bad. It really is very, very noticeable. Like, every time I place a block, there is a noti noticeable lag spike. That really, really is. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. All we can do is hope and pray and, uh, you know, hope that 1.13.1 does the job. So, we'll have one over there. One up here. Maybe we can have, like, a... a can I reach that? I'd love to put, like, a double tall one up here. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. Uh, we'll have one up here. All right, let's see how it's looking so far. Ooh. Hey, I'm kind of liking this so far. All right, double tall one over here. Uh, should we start placing them around here as well? Because, you know, we've got a little bit coming off the edge here. Uh, one up there. 
All right. And again, just a couple more to go at this point, my friends. Uh, we'll have a double tall one over here. And finally, we'll have another double tall one over here. Yeah. Okay. How's it looking? Not bad. I think a little bit of variation over here could be in order. I'm almost thinking that maybe that doesn't be double tall. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of liking this. Ooh. Guys, I can't wait to see how this looks at night time. I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic. I really, really do. Oh, oh baby. It's going to look brilliant. All right, folks. So the next thing I'd like to do in today's episode is sort of make like an unofficial entrance, almost like a, a bit of a leaf archway or some sort of structure that could resemble an entrance to this here lake. And talking of this lake, I asked in the last episode what you guys think this place should be called. And JGEM64 says, call it Twilight Lake. It sounds very magical, and I think it fits right in with Canopy City. Absolutely, absolutely. I love that name. I really, really do. Especially with all the mysticalness that's going on here with the end rods and all this kind of stuff. I mean, I'd be very interested to hear your guys' suggestions, potentially, to, you know, further mystical if I this place. Um, that's not a word, but I just made it. There we go. Another another term added to the Pythonatus Dictionary. Uh, but yeah, this place is going to be called Twilight Lake. It just makes sense. It's such a cool looking place. It really, really is. Especially now that we've, uh, you know, drawn the canopy over uh, all of the gap here. Um, it's looking good. It's looking good. But guys, what I'd like to do here is, like I say, I'd like to make some sort of entrance. So, I think all I'm going to do, I mean, I'm kind of... Uh, you see, the debate is, do I just try to grow vanilla trees and then just sort of use that as a bit of a basis for this thing? Or do we want to do something custom? I mean, doing it custom would take a lot longer, uh, but it could potentially be something good, maybe? Hmm. I mean, I've got quite a lot of dark oak wood, so yeah. We could actually do that. Hello! I'm going to kick your butt. There you go. Get wrecked. Right, so, uh, there's some dark oak logs. And here's even more dark oak logs. We chopped down quite a lot of uh, dark oak trees to grab all of these leaves here. <laughs> so, yeah, got lots of resources, my friends. So... I mean, I'm just kind of winging it at this point. So I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can't come up with some sort of diagonal arch shape with these here logs. And then if we come up with something cool, I'll bring you guys back. We can look at it together and then we can put leaves around it. And then it sort of fits in with the surrounding area, right? Be a cool idea. So let's get on with it. All right, guys. So check it out. I've tried to make this look as natural as I possibly could. It's not that symmetrical. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like it being symmetrical would actually make, like, sense. I don't think it would make design sense. So, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking what we've got going on here. Like, the, the, the height of it is pretty much perfect. Like, it fits in line with the canopy here. And, yeah, just all of this in general, I think, looks pretty good. So, uh, maybe what we do is have uh, maybe a couple of logs coming off here. Uh, maybe if we convert some of these to bark blocks as well, we could probably make this look uh, really quite good, actually. So, uh, maybe we have that going on in there. So, that's almost like a, a, a bit of a, a trunk, as it were. Like, maybe we can have that going off like that. Eww, not bad, not bad. Uh, okay. And then maybe we can have, like, another one coming off the side here or something. Uh, actually, no. If we put that one back in, uh, we'll have that one coming off like that. And then again, with the bark blocks, we can, you know, start creating a little bit of a shape, uh, as it were. So that's looking pretty good. Alrighty. All right, that's looking pretty decent. Uh, oh, but that's looking, that's looking very symmetrical. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that that's so symmetrical. So something like that. Yeah. Although I think that needs to be the other way around for it to make sense. Or not. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't make my mind up, dudes. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Right, well, uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Maybe we could put some slabs around it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Custom trees have never been my strength, not by any stretch of the imagination. If you want custom trees, you go to you go to Good Times with Scar. You don't go to the Python Aid because I, I just don't know how to make custom trees. I really don't. So, uh, yeah, uh, boof. Let's have a little bit of that. And then once again, we'll have a, a little bit of this coming off this way. And we'll have it go around a corner maybe and then do something like that. 
Okay, cool. Right, and then, like I say, we could put some slabs down and start making it look pretty good. All right, so let's do the same for this side. All right, guys, so here we are in the process of trying to make this tree look uh, a little bit more like a tree. Uh, so all we can do at this point is start adding in some random slabs and stairs. And I think that that randomization might just be the factor which makes this look, you know, like a tree. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, uh, we can have that going all up there. Uh... Maybe we have, like, a, a log sticking up like that. Okay, how's it looking now? Ooh, that's looking pretty decent. Hmm, don't like that, though. Hmm, okay, uh, maybe I can add a little bit more support by doing that. Yeah, 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 that's looking good. Okay, now, of course, what we need to make sure is that we uh, leave a little bit of space here so we can actually get in and out of this freaking place. I mean, that'd be a bit dumb if we completely covered it up, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, all right, so let's have a little bit of this. Uh, maybe we start bringing ourselves out this way a little bit. We'll have a little bit of that, that, uh, that. Oh, no, hang on a minute. <laughs> Bottom half, please. There we go. So uh, maybe, again, we bring in a little bit more around the side. Uh, bring some way out here. That could look pretty cool. Okay, and then just a little bit more like that. And again, a little bit more height variation. And I think this place is going to be looking absolutely baller. Yeah, okay. Not looking bad, guys. Not looking bad. Not looking bad at all, in fact. Okay, so of course, the, the final element here is going to be adding in the leaves and connecting the canopy from the top of this to the main canopy itself over Twilight Lake, right? Oh, dudes. This is looking so cool. You know how you sometimes start like a little micro project and you don't really know what kind of design you're going to go for? And then you accidentally come up with something that looks absolutely fantastic and you astound even yourself with it. This is one of those times. Like, I, I honestly wasn't expecting this to look this good. Like, I thought it was going to look really, really crummy and geometric and just bad. But honestly, I think I've done a fairly okay job here. I mean, obviously, that's uh, pending your guys' feedback. Of which, you know, I always appreciate. So, yeah. Not bad, though, guys. Not bad. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I'm pleased to say that the archway is now leaved over. And as you can see, it's looking pretty decent. There's a good amount of space on the underside of the canopy. So, we can actually use this as an entrance to this place. Now, obviously, there's still some various other bits and bobs I need to do. For example, uh, you know, filling in this hole here so we can't get through. Again, doing it over here. And, you know, wherever else there might be a hole where people or me can get in, we need to make it so this is the only entrance into this place, right? So, yeah. Anyways, so, in the meantime, maybe we can uh, start placing in some uh, little inner rods around the place here. Uh, make it look a little bit more mystical again. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have one round there. Uh, we could probably bring some on the inside here. Uh, how about one in there? And, well, actually, that looks pretty good, to be honest with you guys. All right, nice one. So, all we need to do now is we need to go ahead and uh, figure out the pathway here. It's going to be very, very simple. We're not going to be using dark oak slabs to, uh, you know, to, you know, uh, stare the way forward. I'm thinking something along the lines of cobble, because I think that would look pretty decent. So, uh, there's some cobble slabs. So, this should be pretty simple, to be honest with you guys. I mean, all i got to do is maybe add a little bit in there. All right, and we'll add a little bit in there. Okay, and the rest of it can quite literally just be pathed off rather like this, right? Yeah, that looks, I mean, that could look pretty cool. Uh, let's just grab some grass blocks out here. There we go. And again, we'll start pathing our way over to the main pathway. All right, so we'll get rid of that. We'll put a grass block in there. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Hmm, not entirely sure about that. We need to go ahead and replace that with bark blocks, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, that looks a bit better. And again, there's a little slither of grass block coming through there. We need to rectify that. And yeah, there's a tiny bit under here as well. You see, attention to detail, my friends. Attention to detail. It, it's definitely worth it. It really, really is. Okay, uh, I'm almost thinking I should put some in here as well. There we go. So we can easily get in and out of this place, my friends. Oh, that looks fantastic. That really, really does. Okay, so final bits and bobs that we need to do, of course, is add some core stir amongst, you know, the various other little bits and bobs we got going on here. So, uh, do we have some glowstone left still? I'm rather hoping so, because, yeah, we'll be able to make this thing look really, really nice. 
Uh, ah, dang it. We don't have any glowstone left. Am I blind? No, I definitely don't have any. Oh, well, isn't that a bunch of poo? Well, that's great, isn't it? Okay. Well, I guess in the meantime, we can grab ourselves some grass out. We've got some vines there, but I don't think we're going to be using them. Although we potentially could. Eh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Oh, I just realized something. One of the things that I haven't used is, uh, is sugar canes around here. I think sugar canes would give a nice amount of contrast to the dark green that we've got going on here. And therefore make it look even more mystical. What do you guys think? I think that could work. I really, really do. All right. So I'm going to put in another bit of coarse cool dirt there. We'll have one down here with a bit of long grass on it. And I'll tell you what. We'll have one up here as well. And another one just over here. What was the other block we were using? Podzol. Aha. Yes. Yes. All right, so let me grab some pods all out. And again, we'll randomly uh, start splicing in some of those bad boys. And therefore, the pathway is going to match the rest of the design, which is brilliant. That's exactly what we're looking for. So, boom. Uh, maybe we can, again, put some more grass like that. Okay. And then we'll have a bit of pods all on here. That is not pods all. That is grass. That is pods all. There you go. Looking good. All right. And finally, of course, uh, let's grab some bone meal. There we go. Maybe make some of it double tall. And that should make it look a bit nicer. In fact, I just realized we don't have any other double tall grass around here. So there we go. Killing two birds with one stone, my friends. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And again, just around this pathway here as well. Uh, we'll have a little bit in there, there, and in there, and right there. Looking good. All right. Oh my gosh, dudes, this is looking so freaking good. I am actually in love with this build. I really, really am. This is fan freak fantastic. Right, so, in terms of a bit of a wall design, I think what could be a nice idea is if I temporarily get rid of these and we start just randomly placing in some logs, we could start putting leaves on them, right? We could put some leaves on them and therefore make it so mobs can't get in and out. And, you know, same with me as well, so I can't get in and out. So, yeah, and we're going to try and make it look as natural as we possibly can. And yeah, I think this is going to look really, really cool. So, uh, again, uh, just around here. All right, looking good. And again, we can sort of bring it around town a little bit here. Uh, ah, uh, this is double tall. I'm entirely sure how I feel about this. Uh, hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe we have it like that. And yeah, we just start chucking some leaves around the place. And that should have it look pretty good. Right? I mean, with that said, we might need a little bit more in there. And again, like I say, we're going to try and fill this place in, kind of. So nobody can possibly get in through there. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, actually, yeah, that really is looking pretty good. All right, and then we start placing in some leaves around here as well. Yeah, this is going to look great, my friends. This is actually going to look pretty darn cool. Alrighty, guys. So after quite some time of just placing in leaves and seeing what works, I feel like we have got something that works quite nicely, actually. So check it out, my friends. We've gone ahead and filled up all of the area here. We've got the entrance here, of course. And of course, over here, I've done pretty much the same. Uh, we've got ourselves a nicely sort of closed off area at this point, my friends. Looking very, very good, I've got to say. Uh, can I... There we go. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but oh, well, we'll get that done in just a moment. So, how about now? How's it looking? Ooh, looking good. All right, okay, so I missed out a little bit over here as well. Okay, well, we can do that together very quickly here. Uh, there we go. Yep, all right, and we'll make it stretch to the ceiling here. And we need to bring that up there a little bit. And again, that's looking pretty good. You see, I'm almost thinking as well, I'm adding so much variation to this. I really, really am. Because I want to make this look good. I really, really do. Like, we could probably do with adding some of these in. Make the tree look a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more natural, I guess. What do you guys think? Do you think that's adding something to the build? Or do you think that's sort of taking away from it a little bit? See, I'm kind of liking it. I'm actually kind of liking it. Like, we're adding a little bit of support to the trees, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, legit. I'm actually kind of liking that. Yeah, not bad, guys. Not bad. <laughs> and then we go inside, and here we go. We are inside of Canopy City at Twilight Lake. <laughs> oh, 
Gosh darn. You know, when I started off today's episode, I was a little bit sort of umming and ahhing a little bit because I wasn't really entirely sure of uh, what I was wanting to do, like design-wise. But sometimes all you got to do is start placing down blocks and just seeing what works. And do you know what? That's exactly what I've done today. And it's worked out really well. It really has. We've got a canopy going over Twilight Lake. We've got an entrance going on there. And just all in all... I'm very, very happy. I can't, I can't describe to you guys how happy I am with the progress I've made in today's episode. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end that episode here, or end this episode here. We've got the comment question of the video, of course, coming from Audrey DeLaughter, who says, Python, I think you should have a few fish and lily pads for your lake. I think tropical fish, because tropical fish look colorful. Ooh, now that's a nice idea. That is a nice idea. I like the idea of lily pads adding a little bit more greenery to the place. And I'm really liking the idea of tropical fish, actually. Because, you know, colourful fish in the lake. Like, I don't know, for some reason, again, that kind of adds to the enchanted mystical feel of this place. Hmm. Do you know what? That'll be the thing we do to finish off the episode. Let me go grab some fish. Let me go grab some other bits and bobs. And we'll see how it looks. Well, guys, here we go. I've got some lily pads. I've also placed in sugar cane. As you can see, I've actually placed some in four tall. Because, I don't know, I feel like it's quite a nice amount of height variation. I think it looks very, very nice. So... You guys were saying we should add some lily pads, so how's about we give it a go? You can see I've already got a couple of tropical fish in here, which is pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, let's just start randomly placing these in. And I'm hoping that by doing this, we'll have ourselves, like, a nice amount of green. In fact, you know what? I think third person might actually be the best idea in order to get an idea of distribution, I guess. Uh, maybe one over there. Uh, like, one here, here. Uh, randomly over there, here, here, and I've got another stack, so don't worry. Boom, boom, and over there, 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 and one more. Boom. Yeah, okay. I agree with you guys there. The lily pads add a nice amount of variation again. Uh, although this one here, I think should be moved over here. There we go. Nice. Right, and of course we've got the tropical fish. There's a little uh, purple one there. What have we got here? Hey, it's a, it's a, it's a pink one. Awesome. Okay, and we'll bring one over here. Another pink and blue one, kind of pastel-y colours. Hey, a little clownfish-looking one. <laughs> Brilliant. And yeah, another blue one. And finally, boom. There you go. A red and white one. Yeah, I captured quite a variety of tropical fish. It took me a little bit to to find all these little buggers, but you know. It's worth it. It is worth it, guys. It is worth it. So, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it is going to be time to end this episode right here as my Blizzard app decides to update itself and freeze the game for a bit. Gosh freaking darn it, man. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a big fat thumbs up. I mean, you got to drop a like rating for this brilliant looking entrance here. I really like this, and I hope you guys are as well. Ah. Oh. I, I, it's just completely winging it. I completely winged this build and it came out really nice. Yeah, like I said, guys, if you enjoyed it, drop a like rating. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to wrap up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>